I want to show you three ways you can start improving the dexterity in your fingers so you can start playing faster on the saxophone. And it actually starts with not even playing the saxophone. It all starts with focusing in on your fingers and focusing in on how you play the keys on the sax. So let me show you what I mean by this. So it's all about focusing in on say the G major scale and trying to play the G major scale without actually playing. Just play the keys and try to keep your fingers close to the keys as you're practicing. This is really important when it comes to learning how to play fast on the sax. You wanna keep your fingers close to the keys even when you're building up speed. So I'm gonna go into a lot more detail on how to do all of this, but first let me introduce myself. My name is Alexander Mathias from saxophonemasterclass.com and on this channel I teach you everything you need to know about how to master the saxophone. But if you wanna go even deeper with me on my saxophone mastery system, check out my free saxophone mastery secrets webinar. There's a link below or just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash secrets. And it's gonna be over an hour of me teaching you exactly how you can start learning your favorite songs, how you can start improving your technique, how you can start getting a great tone on the saxophone. It's all in that webinar. Go ahead and check that out after you watch this lesson. So the first thing you wanna do is actually get a metronome. I know people hate metronomes, they hate trying to play to a metronome, but I wanna show you a process that's gonna make it a lot easier to start playing along to a metronome in this lesson. So it's really easy to get access to a metronome. You can actually get one on your smartphone. If you have a smartphone, there's plenty of apps. Just type in metronome to the app store and you'll be able to find a simple metronome with simple functionality. You don't need anything too complicated. You just need something that's going to give you a steady beat. But if you don't have a smartphone, you can actually just use your computer to search for a metronome. And there's plenty of websites where you can actually get a free metronome as well. So the first thing you want to do is start at 60 BPM. This is 60 beats per minute, meaning one beat per second. And this is a great place to start when you want to start improving the dexterity in your fingers. So step one is get a metronome. Step two is to then start practicing the fingerings on the saxophone without playing. So what you're doing is just isolating your technique in your fingers. You're just focusing on developing that muscle memory in your fingers as they play the keys without having to think about breath support, without having to think about the notes on the page that you're reading, without having to think about the notes of a song, without having to think about playing the actual instrument. You're just focusing in on the muscle memory of your fingers. So I'm going to show you what I mean and we're going to pick a scale that we can use to start improving the dexterity in our fingers. So we're actually going to set the metronome to 60 BPM and we're going to play the G major scale playing one note of the scale per beat without actually playing. So let me show you what I mean. So before I start using the metronome, I'm gonna show you the G major scale, starting on G, three fingers in the left hand, A, two fingers in the left hand, B, one finger in the left hand, C, that middle finger in the left hand. Now we're gonna go up to D, three fingers in the left hand, three fingers in the right hand, and the octave key in the back. Move up to E, two fingers in the right hand, three fingers in the left hand, with the octave key in the back, F sharp, that middle finger in the right hand, three fingers in the left hand with the octave key in the back, and then finally, G, three fingers in the left hand and the octave key. And so we're just gonna practice going through the fingerings like this. And this is gonna help us improve the muscle memory in our fingers. So the best way to actually do this is to start saying the letter names out loud as well. So G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. And then go backwards, G, F sharp, E, D, C, B, A, G. And what you're doing is just practicing going up and down the scale. And you wanna focus on trying to keep your fingers as close to the keys as possible. So you don't wanna be doing this. You don't wanna be putting your fingers up really high like that. You wanna actually focus in, again, without actually playing, just lifting your fingers very slightly. So you're actually almost keeping your fingers touching the keys as you're going through the scale. It might lift up slightly like here, or here, or here, but you're keeping it as close as possible to the keys. And this is just a good practice technique in order to start getting yourself to play faster on the saxophone and starting to play more smooth as well. So we just wanna focus on going up and down the G major scale like this without actually playing. And then we wanna start working to a metronome. So I'm gonna set the metronome to 60 BPM and we're just gonna finger through the notes again without playing to the beat. G, A, B, C. D, E, F sharp, G. 
G, F sharp, E, D, C, D, A, G. And just keep doing this up and down the scale, one note per beat, and try to focus on just keeping your fingers close to the keys as you do it. Again, we're not playing at this point, we're just trying to improve our muscle memory with this G major scale. So this is how you start to develop the muscle memory in your fingers. This is how you start to play faster on the saxophone, simply by playing slow to a metronome and fingering through a scale, one note per beat. If you can do this well, if you can focus in on keeping your fingers close to the keys, it's really gonna help with improving your rhythm, it's really gonna help with playing smoothly, and it's really gonna help with playing faster on the sax. Now once you've practiced this for five minutes, for 10 minutes, you can start practicing again to the metronome, but this time we're gonna play the scale up and down. So it sounds like this. So now you should be able to play that scale in time to a metronome one note per beat. And you should try to tongue every note as well. So now we're starting to really improve the dexterity in our fingers. Now you wanna move on to increasing the tempo. You can increase the tempo by five BPM or by 10 BPM and just go through the same process all over again. So we're gonna do 70 BPM and now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna play up and down the G major scale, just focusing in on our fingers without playing, and then we're gonna play the G major scale to the metronome. So let's do that next. So now we're at 70 BPM, but we're gonna finger through every note. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. G, F sharp, E, D, C, B, A, G. Again, we're just trying to keep our fingers as close to the keys as possible, but the thing is, the faster we go, the more we have a tendency to lift up our fingers like this when we start playing faster. So you wanna focus in on still trying to keep the fingers close to the keys. And then of course, you play the scale at that new tempo. So now we're starting to increase speed and you just keep doing this for five or 10 BPMs at a time until you get faster and faster and faster. So now we're gonna go all the way up to 200 BPM so we can actually start playing faster on the saxophone and I'm gonna do the same process. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, D, C, D, A, G. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, D, C, D, A, G. So this is how we start increasing the speed in our fingers. We're keeping our fingers close to the keys, but now we're going faster. And again, we're gonna play this scale at 200 BPM. <laughs> And so I hope you're getting the idea. Just keep going up in increments of five or 10 BPM and start increasing the speed while focusing in on trying to keep your fingers close to the keys and playing one note per beat. This is really gonna start improving the dexterity in your fingers and help you play faster on the saxophone. It's also gonna help you sound smoother when you play as well. And of course, you can start doing then two notes per beat if you wanna start going even faster. So now we're gonna do 140 BPM, but we're gonna do two notes per beat. So now we're gonna do the same process, but we're going to do it two notes per beat. This time we're not gonna say the letter names out loud, we're just gonna finger through the notes. And now we're gonna play it. So again, you can keep doing this and get faster and faster, but just go through the same process. Try to tongue every note, but if you can't, you can just play legato, meaning you don't tongue any of the notes. Just try to keep the notes smooth and connected the whole time. This is really gonna improve the dexterity in your fingers. But again, if you wanna go even deeper with me on how to do all this step by step, check out my free Saxophone Mastery Secrets webinar. There's a link below this video, or just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash secrets. I give you an 
entire breakdown of how I learned and mastered the saxophone and how I teach my students to learn and master the saxophone as well. It's going to help you with learning your favorite songs. It's going to help you with getting a better tone on the sax. And it's going to help you with knowing what to practice on the saxophone as well. So go and check it out. It's completely free. All right, my friend, I really hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you want a step-by-step -step lesson on the G major scale, which I used in this video, go and check out this next lesson here. And I even give you the fingerings and sheet music for G major as well. So go and check it out now. And I really hope you got a lot out of this. Let me know if you did in the comments below. And until next time, have a great day, have a great week and happy playing.